My name is Dima Etkin, and I'm a solution architect in Absolver. Today I will be demonstrating the creation of a simple curated data pipeline with Absolver. For this project, we're going to work with Orders Data Stream to create an Athena table that will be used for in-store pickup order analytics. Let's start from defining a data source. A data source in Absolver is a configuration that determines where the data is going to be brought from. Any of the data sources that you see on this list can be a data source in Absolver. It could be files or object stores, streaming data, or relational data stores. For this use case, I'm going to pick the data up from S3 as it is where the data has been landed by my data integration flow. And once we have entered these values, on the right-hand side of the screen, we can already see the list of files that have been detected by AppSolver. Now, let's give the data source a name and click Continue. At this stage, AppSolver will already start doing its magic. Few people nowadays believe in magic, so let's explain what actually happens during this initial phase. AppSolver will scan the inbound data files and detect the data format, which could be in CSV, JSON, XML, Avro, Parquet, etc., as well as identify the data compression, gzip, snappy, or any other compression supported by AppSolver. Of course, everything can be manually configured, but we figured out that automating the data source discovery phase as much as possible will contribute to streamline the development. We can already expand the sample data records read and interpreted by Absolver to confirm that the data matches our expectations. And indeed, it looks like our order stream. So let's go on and finalize the creation of the data source by clicking the Create button. Now, in our newly defined data source, on the left-hand side, you can see the schema identified from the source data. Just to remind you, this is schema on read. Thus, any changes to the schema will be automatically picked by Absolver and reflected in the source definitions. You will never need to manage your schema explicitly. As you can see, our data stream is rather complex. Data structure contains nested elements, as we can see here in sales info, as well as arrays, as you can see here in the items. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the data volumes evolution graph, uh, which could be drilled down to investigate the data structure and data content at any given time. Now, let's look back at the data and let's look at the order type value. This screen also contains some statistics of the selected data field that indicate the field distribution, cardinality, and also when the field was first seen and last seen in the data stream with the sample distinct values from the data field. And looking at the sample data in the order type field, we can already see that the data may need some cleansing because some values in the original data are in uppercase while other values are in lowercase. So with that in mind, let's go on and create an output from the source data. AppSolver allows you to output data to numerous targets, data lake, relational databases or data warehouses, files or object stores, and other solutions. We can also create AppSolver lookup tables, which are meant to provide a solution that sidesteps the inherent limitations stemming from the lack of indexing in data lakes, while avoiding the overhead of NoSQL databases such as Cassandra. Lookup tables are used to retrieve data from data lake on S3 by a simple or combined key with millisecond latency. We will discuss those in more depth in our future videos. But in our scenario, we will output our data to Amazon Athena. And let's output it in a standard tabular mode. With the output created, let's populate it with the data by adding order details which would be order ID, order date, and net total, which we will maintain as a double. We will also require order type, but we'll need to cleanse the content of this field before using it by normalizing the case in the content. Let's look at this field, order type. So for looking at the order type, you can see that it's still partially uppercase, partially lowercase. In order to do that, let's add a function, which will be to lower
let's start typing the field name here where you can see that the auto completion kicks in and let's call the output preview the formula result and save the transformation if we're happy with the result for those who prefer a more keyboard oriented experience you can switch to a sql mode and add a filter condition in order to sift out only the orders placed for pickup in the physical stores. This will be achieved by adding a WHERE clause with a condition based on a newly created order type normalized field. Let's preview this. And it seems that the data appears as we have expected it to be. And now what's left to do is to deploy this data pipeline. To deploy it, we'll just click Run. So let's fill in the uh, necessary fields. So for Athena, database name, demo, and the table name, demo order basic, and create name. This dialog will allow you to set the data processing time boundaries, which could cover the whole data history to reprocess all the available data, or just to start from some time closer to now. And let's select the whole history and deploy the output. Now we can switch to Athena and investigate our data. And our curated data is already available for further analytics processing. Thank you for joining me to watch this demo of creation of a simple curated data pipeline with Absolver. Please feel free to read more about Absolver at www.absolver.com and try it out by yourself by signing up for free. Have a great day.